Welcome. This question says mass A is 18 kilograms, mass B is 2 kilograms, the displacement vector that points from A to B is given by this IJK vector. So mass A is 18. Let's call this A. Let's put mass B over here. And that's 2 kilograms. And then I'd like to draw it directly in line, but I want to go to one side just so my diagram's readable. And it goes from A to B. So this will be uh, 2i plus 3j plus 4k meters. So there's my setup. And I have to say, uh, write an expression for the force vector experienced by mass B. So I'm specifically looking for this force here. What is the force vector experienced by mass B? And notice the direction. It goes from B towards A because that's the way you know, gravitational forces work. Um, well, I need a principal equation on this, and the principal equation is when the force of gravity is expressed as a vector, then it is equal to m uh, big G times m1 times m2 over r squared. That's the magnitude of it. But this is a vector, so I also need a direction. So I need to add on to that or multiply that by another thing which is called r hat. This is a unit vector which points in the appropriate direction. So the red bit is the magnitude, that tells you how long this arrow is, and the green bit is the unit vector which tells you which direction this arrow points in. And the two of those together, the magnitude multiplied by the uh, uh, direction makes it a vector. Okay, so then we can just do it. We go, well, fg vector is equal to big G. Let's leave it as big G. Um, this is 18. This is 2 over... And I come into my, my, my first issue, and my first issue is I wasn't given a numerical value for the separation between these two particles. But that's not a big deal. I just use uh, Pythagoras in three dimensions, so I say, oh, yeah, the, the, uh, this distance there is equal to that squared plus that squared plus that squared, and then square root the whole thing. So I'm just going to say it's equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared. Now, that's the separation. That's numerically how far the 2 kilogram mass is away from the 18 kilogram mass. But notice that this is squared in the equation. And it's a common mistake. People get so caught up in the detail they just forget about that square. So put a little alarm bell when you're doing these to remember. That's a common mistake, so make sure you don't make that common mistake. And then the next thing we have to do is work out what this, this uh, unit vector is. So I'm going to look at my diagram and what I notice, what I'm looking for is, is the gravity vector gravity force vector in the same direction as my displacement vector. And in this case, it is not. It is in the opposite direction. If I was asking for the pull of gravity on the 18 newton kilogram, on the 18 kilogram mass, then it would point in the same direction. But I'm asking for the uh, force vector experienced by the 2 kilogram mass. So it's going to be in this direction, which is opposite to the displacement vector. So the way I get a unit vector is I find a vector and divide it by its own uh, um, magnitude. The vector which goes from 2 
218 is not plus 2 but minus 2i. It's the opposite. To go from 2 to minus 18 is not plus 3 but minus 3j. And it's not plus 4 but minus 4k. We change the sign on all the coefficients. So because I want the opposite vector, I want the opposite coefficients. So that's a vector which points from the 2 to the 18. And it displaces you from the 2 to the 18. But I don't want that. I want the unit vector pointing in this direction. And the way I go from a displacement vector to a unit vector is I divide by its own magnitude. So this is the square root of minus 2 squared plus minus 3 squared plus minus 4 squared. Now, I just took these coefficients and squared and added them and then square rooted the whole thing to get the magnitude. And then that, of course, is units. And if the question, when I'm writing a test, if I say write an expression for, what I'm telling you is don't take it all the way to a numerical answer. Just, you can leave it in its, in its uh, form. Because frankly, from a, a grading point of view, this is a very easy thing to grade. I can see from this that you know the general form. I can see from this that you know that M1 is 18 and M2 is 2. doesn't matter which way around it is, but I can, I can see what you're doing. I know that you know how to work out your separation. I know that you remember to square your separation because it's R squared. I know that you worked out what the uh, vector was to go from in the right direction and I know that you know how to normalize that vector. And the final thing I know is that you did not forget your units. So I'm happy with you leaving it like this. Some people it drives them crazy and they say oh can I just process it a little bit more and by all means if you want to. You could put down uh, 36g over and this would be 16 plus 9 is 25 plus 4 is 29. And it would be the square root of 29 squared. So that would be 29. And then here I would have minus 2i minus 3j minus 4k. And if I look at these, well, minus 2 squared is still 4. And minus 3 squared is still 9, and minus 4 squared is still 16, and that adds up to 29, so this is the square root of 29. And again, we can't forget our units. And again, I would be happy with that. So there we have it.